Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and today I want to make a video. This is for my friend, the billionaire, and uh, I want to make this video. What would I buy if I was a billionaire? And I want to look at watches. What watches would I get? And, and I, I reckon if you're a, a really keen watch nut, you've got to have so I reckon these watches could almost be an investment, okay? Now, I'm going to give you a list of pieces I think he should get. Let's start with Rolex. What would we get there? I think with Rolex, we'd have to go 5513, 5512, that's the Submariner, no dates. We would have to go 5508, that's the, the no date, sorry, that's the, that's the no date, Submariner, no crown guards. We would go GMT 6542, that's the no crown guard GMT. We'd have to go 1680, that's the date, sub plastic. We'd go a 1665 Sea Dweller, 1655. Five Explorer Two. We'd have to go for a. Uh, we'd have to go for a Daytona. There's quite a few references there. We'd have to get a couple of plastic, plastic Daytonas. We'd. Uh, what else would we have to get there? I, I'm. I'm just thinking. Um, we'd have to get 1675 GMT. That's the plastic GMT. We'd have to get a 1016, that's an Explorer 1. A 1019, that's the original Milgaus. We'd have to get... That, that's probably a nice little stable of stuff of Rolex there. What other Rolex pieces do you reckon the billionaire should get? And I reckon... He, if he bought these, he could almost turn a profit. This would be an investment. Investment. So th th there's a bit of uh, food for thought. What uh, Rolexes... What Rolexes do you think a billionaire should get? Have to cut... You'd have to get plastic sports. So, uh, if I've left a few off, let me know what you reckon he should get. See you later, fuckers. I'll be making more videos for him. What Patex he should get. What uh, other watches of significance he should get. I'm Archie Luxury. Time we give back to our billionaire friend. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.